What's up guys? So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can enter a record in your Airtable database with your voice. So this is the same thing as entering data. Maybe you're thinking in a Google sheet or somewhere else, but this is going to be directly into your Airtable database, just with your voice, with the Alexa app on any of your Alexa enabled devices. This could work for you. So if you're a business owner and you want to be using this, say your the specific example is going to be in like a sales CRM, you want to enter a new prospect. You can have this set up for you if you want to go check out. There's a link in the description and you can get a free demo call where you can sort of see how this could work for you or how this can be implemented in your business and really help. What Say you're on the go, say you're in a, in a car. You can just have it enter a record if you remember someone or if you someone texts you or whatever that looks like for you. You can get that free demo call. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so as I just said, we're actually going to be watching this together. We got our good friend, Coach Joel, from Enabled, Enabled speakenabled.io. He's going to be doing the demo here for us. That's the company that built this whole process. They build the integration with Alexa Voice as well as other voice platforms. But if you're interested in that, again, you can check the link in the description. But he's going to give us a quick demo here of actually entering this record into Airtable with voice. And so... This is in the Alexa developer console. So over here on the right, where I am right now, you're gonna see the transcript of what you would see on the voice. And then over here, right over here, we're gonna see the video display or the picture display of what you can have. Say you have an Alexa device that has a display on it. This can also, sh like for some, ex some of these examples we're gonna show you, it will display records there. But for this one, it's just gonna display some pictures there. So if you're interested in all that, keep watching, and he's going to explain this pretty concisely here. So stay tuned. Alexa, open voice lead qualification. Hi there. Welcome to Dunder Mifflin Incorporated. How can we help today? Inquiry or about us? About us. We are based in Scranton, Pennsylvania. We have been selling the best paper in the world since 1949. Interested? Yes or no? So you notice that with the voice, you're able to change the display, which is pretty cool. Yes. Just in case we get disconnected by accident, may I have your phone number, please? So give them a reason that you're asking for the phone number is the best way to get it that type of information. So really right now he's given you like some of the best practices for implementing voice, such as like giving them the reason for the phone number. But all of this stuff over here that Alexa says, all of that stuff is customizable based on the use case. So if you want it just short and sweet, like if you want just a simple like five question thing while you're driving to enter a new lead, five basic points about them, like their first name, last name, phone number, email, and any notes, then you could have that over here, or you could have more of a customized journey, such as, hi there, welcome to Dunder Mifflin Incorporated. How can we help you today? Inquire about us. So you can really customize that a lot as you go, and that's what I've been learning. You can also customize all of these videos and everything over here, so it's pretty great for that, and I'll keep playing the video now. 602 602-331-3394. First stop, what should we call you? Arthur. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And your last name? So you can see there's nobody named Arthur. Bross. In order to connect you with the best representative, please allow me to ask you a few more questions first of all. Where are you located? East, central, or west? So what's nice about that is you're getting the single select field here, which of course could have been you know, east, central, or west. And with voice, you're able to use, if they choose west or something that sounds like west, you can actually capture it and set the variable value as west with a W capitalized and the EST at the end. Um, or, you know, whatever thing you want it to be, like West Room 184, you know. Um, you can set whatever value you want 
but it's pretty cool. So the single select field works really great for this. And uh, we're going to select East. So that's sort of the basics of how the data entry goes with voice. It's basically just the same as you were sitting there at your computer manually typing it in, but now you can use your voice. So if you use something like this, what was really, really good that he just pointed out was you have two single line text fields there at the beginning, and then you have a single select field instead of single line text, so it's different now. So now you can pick something from the single select field. Not, it's not just limited to one field type. There's actually an array of different field types that he'll refer to as good fields in this that work really well with voice. Some are more challenging than others, but really they've got this down to a science at enabled and like he's gonna keep on going through this and we'll keep listening to him, but it's pretty impressive all the connections that they have between Alexa voice and just being able to put it straight into your Airtable base, which you'll see here in a second. What budget do you have in mind? And so when they're asking for a budget, um, I'm gonna say an amount and, um, and it'll capture it as a number. 10,000. Thank you. Please schedule a time to speak with our sales team. Developer makes scheduling appointment path success. Okay, and so I've got a successful path. And if you notice, Arthur Ross is now listed with his phone number in the East with a budget amount of $10,000, which anything over 99 bucks there was a good fit. So I want to point out another thing here is that while he's entering data, if you saw a second ago, it's, he entered 10,000. He didn't say 10,000 US dollars. He just said 10,000. So he was able to just say 10,000 and then it on the back end, it connects that to Airtable, makes it in the monetary format over here on the right. You can see right here it says 10,000 and these are in US dollars. And then as well with that formula he just talked about, that's also on the back end. So it does automated lead qualification based on like, for example, he set the rule and he'll talk about it here in a second. If it's over a certain price, it'll automatically put this right here. Normally in most bases, this would be a formula field, which you wouldn't be able to then change. Like you could go and change the formula, but it would change it for everyone here. It's based on what you say, what you input in the voice, which can really be anything and then it will automatically put, is this a budget fit, yes or no? Like if someone would have said 50, it would have put no there. But now we can go back and like change some things retroactively after we put this in here if we wanted to, and it wouldn't be stuck to that formula. So this can really take that to a next level, and I'll, I'll keep playing the video now. I <laughs> don't know about big 99, but what's cool is out of this, I was able to capture the first name, using the first name slot type, the last name using a person slot type, the phone number using a phone number slot type, the location using a custom slot type, and I defined the choices as east, west, and central. Anything else would have pointed, reprompted the customer back to pick east, west, or central. And, um, and then of course, I uh, used a number slot type um, for the uh, budget amount, uh, which voice, uh, which Airtable has in a currency. And I used another uh, yes and no as the single uh, slot choice uh, for the value. Uh, based on, that's the value that was declared, depending on if the budget was greater than $99. If it was less than $99, then this would have said automatically no, and that would have been submitted into the Airtable record. In other words, there's no formula here. This is a single select. All right. So the yes and no is coming from voice. And that's where the value is being set. So yeah, that's a lot of the benefit of entering it just with your voice. You can do it for, like you said, the single line text, the phone number, the different single select fields, as well as, for example, a budget amount. And this really takes out a lot of the complexity because not only can you just enter data, but you can have it be computed on the back end, like for example, the perfect example is just that budget amount to the budget fit. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about what Enabled can do for you and your business, maybe you want to have something like this available on your smartphone or available on your closest Alexa device to you, 
then you can check out the link in the description. It should be speakenabled.io. And you can go check that out and you can, they actually have 30 minute free demos right now. I don't know how they can give away 30 minutes for free, but they're giving it away for free right now. And they'll show you how you can, how you can use it, how you can use it in your business and how you can even get it just set up in your personal life. So if you're interested in that, check out that link in the description. And without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. We got a lot more of these tutorials coming out on every Tuesday. So just keep an eye out for those. And if you're curious, just check out that link in the description. I'll see you there.